Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something a little bit fun. It was requested that I do a what's in my handbag um, video. So here I am doing it. And um, I also add in some other things because I'd like to make more videos, but if I make one longer video with lots of things inside, then uh, maybe it's better that way. I don't know, you let me know. Anyway, let's get going. So this video is a what's in my purse and the purse that I have, um, um, I have been using lately is this one. And you've probably seen it if you follow me. It's a Goyard bag and it's a Paris brand, um, Paris based brand. And I know many of the stars have this Goyard bag. It, I mean, it doesn't look like anything special, but I love it. I got it in Turkey this summer. And to me, it's of course huge, but it's the perfect size for an everyday bag because I have a lot of things. What I can tell you is that it's very, very resistant because I load my bag with a lot of, um, well, with a lot of heavy things. And so it's best that, you know, it's quite resistant. Inside the bag, there's this little other little bag that comes with it and, and it's attached to the handles. And uh, normally I put my um, iPhone inside, which the cover is really horrible, I have to change. And then I have a little USB key because um, actually I'm going over to one of my girlfriend's house today and I have to give her some pictures. So. Um, yeah, anyway, I put my cell phone in here so that I know if I can't find um, my cell phone, I know that it's in here. So I just pull on the string and I know that I can find it there because it is a very, very big bag. Let me show you inside. These are all the things that I have in there. So my glass um, case for my glasses, this I bought many, many years ago. I think it's sort of like silver. It's very light, it's not really silver, but it's extremely light and it goes very well with my glasses that you can barely see them because they're so thin. So I have that. And then um, I have, this is a little um, shopping bag for when I go to the grocery store um, because I don't normally go to um, supermarkets. I go to little like grocery stores because um, here in the south of Italy, there's still like those little, you know, uh, the green grocers or the butchers and little shops like delis and stuff that sell a lot of things. So I need this. I just open it up. It's really practical. If it's something really small, of course, I put it in my bag. And um, then I have my sunglasses, and they are the Ray-Bans. These were my father's from the 1970s. The lens is extremely heavy. And the only thing I modified are the, his, I can never remember the name, this part, because they were the uh, sunglasses that the, this, like this part came round behind your ear and I really hated that. So these are sunglasses that I always wear. They are for a man, so they are quite big. And anyway, I always have them in my purse with me. And then I have another little bag. I normally put uh, some kind of gum in here. I have candies. These are... Um, very precious to me because, well, first of all, they're wonderful. They have a wonderful taste. And then since I teach and I talk a lot, then um, these come in handy. Or I have Benegol, which is for the throat, just in case I get like an irritation by talking too much. And then, oh, this is the Maybelline 24 hour tattoo in the taupe color. My mom was using it and she doesn't really know how to use it because it's quite dry. So it, it tugs on her eyelid and she doesn't want that. So she gave it back to me and I just plopped it in there. Let me put it out, otherwise I'll forget it. Um, then I have, oh, these are um, multivitamins from Herbal Life because I um, take Herbal Life. Um, I follow the Herbal Life plan. Not so much to lose weight, but to be healthy. And I really uh, enjoy that. 
and um, yeah, so these are my vitamins that I take three times a day. And then I have some tissues, because you never know. <laughs> And then I have my agenda. This is the moleskin agenda. This year, for the first time, I've decided to buy this yellow and not black like my usual um, self. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is the agenda with the weekly pages because I don't like daily and monthly is just too much. So weekly, and it's quite a medium size, not too small, not too big, medium size. Then I have my pencil case for when I go teaching and correcting and stuff. And this was, uh, I bought this uh, from Cucinelle, which is also great for your makeup brushes, really. And it's leather, so it's really nice. And then I have my wallet. My wallet, I've been using this for um, many months now. Normally I change it, but this is for, um, by Jamin Puch. And I never know how to say that name. And I love it because when you open it, it's gold. I love gold. And it's this like, it's not really rose gold, but it's a warm type of gold. And I have my Mont Blanc pen here, my credit cards, my money's in here, and my other uh, special credit cards. And this zipper that goes, that the coins go in. And yeah, this is one of my favorite wallets. And it just goes with, um, anything because it's black and I really like it with my Jamin Perch bags so and then last thing I oh know I also have some dry Batiste shampoo but I believe this is not the same Batiste as the one um, you guys get in the States and, and in England I don't know it uh, looks a little bit different it is a little bit comes out like a little bit too white. So the last thing is my makeup bag, and this is a Louis Vuitton makeup bag. And inside I have a lot of goodies, just in case I'm out all day. So let me just put everything back into my bag and then show you what I have in here. Okay, so everything has put been put back into my bag, and it's quite heavy, but um, since it's very big, I don't mind it. Okay, so let's go through what I have in my little makeup bag. So first of all, I have a hand sanitizer and this is the vanilla, warm vanilla sugar by the Bed Bath & Beyond. Got this in the States. I, have, I still have a lot of those. Then as far as bronzer, I have my Laguna. I'm trying to finish it up. It's been so many years and I use it with my uh, flawless face bare minerals um, uh, brush. I really like this brush for blush and for contour, not contour, but bronzer. So that's the NARS Laguna. And then I also have NARS Deep Throat, which of course go very well together. And I'm, I've hit pan a little bit here and so have I with the Laguna. I'm trying to really finish the, these and be good because I just have so many things and these are great products. So I have them in my purse. Then I'm also trying to finish and I do everything with this little brush here. Um, my MAC MSF Natural in um, medium. This is almost finished too. I use this as my powder also under my eyes. Then I have some tweezers that are striped white and pink. So cute. Then I have a nail file, which is like a young lady with a striped shirt. Anything that has stripes I have to get. <laughs> and oh, then I have my double wear coffee um, eyeliner, which is finished. And if I get the urge to put on eyeliner, I know I have to put on this one. I should repurchase another one. Then uh, concealer, I have the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. This is great for touch-ups and under my eyes during the day if I need a little extra coverage. And also with the powder over it, it's like perfect. Actually, I only need those two things. I don't even wear some foundation sometimes. An extra um, mascara, this is the Clarins one. This is the Wonder Perfect Mascara in one black. And this is sort of what I'm wearing. It's okay, it's nothing special. Then I have a little spray bottle with some rose water. And I, um, 
If you live in Italy, um, a good dupe for the Mac Fix Plus is this uh, brand, which is um, Roberts, and it's rose water. It's, I remember my grandmother used to use this and spray this all over her face before going to bed. It does have glycerin, it does have um, rose extracts and all that good stuff for you. So it does um, really wonders to your skin, and it's a great dupe for Max Fix, Mac Fix Plus and it only costs like four euros and so I put it in this little bottle because during the day I have to have to have to um, moisten my face and just revive my makeup a little bit and this does amazing um, just as much as the other ones even the Caudalie one and then I have my pills um i got this um in the states actually amanda my friend got this for me and it's pink and white stripes just like i have in my house everything is pink and white and stripes then in here i got this in turkey it's a little evil eye to keep away the evil spirits i just put it in there um it's something it wasn't expensive and then these are my two new purchases this is the Revlon Color Stay, the new lipsticks that are out. This is in the number 020 front row. When you apply it, it's really difficult to open. When you apply it, it feels like the butter ones. I don't remember the names. It glides on like amazingly. And it stays for a very long time. And then something happens. It begins to separate and dry out your lips and it's just horrible and it's 15 euros and I can't believe I spent that much money because I wanted to apply this as a base which is amazing it's a wonderful wonderful shade um, I don't suggest you buy these um, lipsticks at all or lip glosses lip butters whatever they are I don't know if you can see it this is the color and maybe it's a little bit too bright it's a wonderful color, but uh, like I said, I'll put an, a picture in of me wearing it after four or five hours. It's just terrible. What I have on my lips actually today is a lip pencil by Kiko uh, in 405. And over it, I bought another lip gloss. This is the Revlon lip glosses, the long ones. And this is in Bellini, because I remember I really um, liked it on Pixie 2 Woo. And finally, I got it. So this is it. I'm very happy. This, terrible. The color stay. This, wonderful. So that's all the things that I have in my makeup bag. Uh, then what else did I want to tell you? Another thing that I've been really loving, besides the Bellini and the Rose Water, which, by the way, I really suggest you try, is also the Caudalie Bronzer. And... It's very similar to Laguna, but and I made a video about this already. First of all, it smells divine. I normally don't smell products like I don't think of smelling them um, because people say like that the um, benefit one smell. I never really smelled it, especially when I put it on. This smells amazing, so delicate, so fresh, and I apply this with my. I uh, apply this with my MAC 107 and it just gives like a wonderful bun mean kind of effect and it's a great very luminous uh, bronzer to like kind of bronze up all over so it could be a great dupe. This is redder though and I prefer it on my skin instead of Laguna to tell you the truth and the smell oh my gosh and it should be very good for you because Caudalie is a very great brand anyway that's it i hope you enjoyed this video of what's in my bag that's it but now i wanted to give you an update of my um launch party that i did the noblesse oblige launch party it was a success i will post some pictures i also put a blog post on um that evening I got a few gifts. I got wonderful orchids, chocolates, and I will um, insert a picture of the orchids of course. And also um, this, this is another gift that I got, which is a sushi box. And I got it from Paola Di Pierro, who is um, one of the owners that, uh, um, my favorite shop basically here where I live. It's close to my house. And I put 
their website on my website so you can um, go on my website and if you like any of their clothes you can buy them and um, if you have any questions on what to buy uh, leave a comment and of course I'm always in contact with them anyway this is her gift to me she buys these in Paris and I think they're uh, from Japan and they're sushi box so this is great for traveling because they have an elastic and whoops <laughs> elastic comes off and this is where basically you open this part and you put your sushi in but what is gorgeous about this is that it has two layers so sushi goes underneath and on top but of course you know I don't go around I wish that I did with like sushi um, I really love sushi I would love to do that but it's just not possible so what I'm gonna do is that on the bottom so on the bottom I'm gonna put my MAC face brushes all of them like this and then close it and then and on the top I'm gonna put all my eye brushes so I know that this is my precious box sushi face brush box <laughs> and uh, just like makeup brushes so then I close it and it's really nice to put on your vanity or if you travel put the uh, rubber band back on and travel with it it is a bit big but it doesn't really matter I think brushes are a very precious thing and so this box is very precious I love the colors and it's great also to keep Home, like your brushes inside because if you have leave them outside they tend to get like all dusty so the dust that is in the air sometimes is polluted too especially where I live and then like you tend to um, put all that dust and pollution back on your face so I will be using this which kind of matches my um, shirt and um, my bag too everything and Herbal Life's color is also this I love this bright green color anyway so I will be using this as my makeup um, brush holder and I just wanted to end this off by thanking you again for commenting on the launch of my um, new website. I, if you haven't checked out my website yet, please do so. Um, I will be giving services to uh, women all over the world on just image, beauty, consulting, fashion and comportment and everything else. So I already have some clients, I'm very happy. And everything is wonderful. If you have any requests for any videos in particular, especially regarding to fashion, oh, I have done another uh, makeover because that's what I kind of do. I, I do like makeovers and I do everything from hair to makeup to fashion, accessories, and tell you what to wear. So I have done a makeover on Amanda and I will actually put some um, pictures of her before and after here on this video. But then of course please go check out the blog post because you will have the possibility to see more pictures of her of course and check out all the other blogs. So that is my video, that's my little update. I will probably do a makeup tutorial soon because I haven't done one in ages and as far as my hair goes I think I'm going to let it grow out a little bit more. I like the way a Daisy from Daisy Nation has her hair, which is kind of similar to mine, but it's a little bit um, longer. And then um, for my color, I'm just going to leave it like this and see how I feel during the summertime because I have, I did buy a hair dye, which is blonde, back to blonde. I just, I'd like to keep it like this, but towards more my natural color. So thanks again for watching my channel and supporting and please go check out my new website and if you have any women friends that would like my service, don't hesitate to uh, pass on the link and talk about me. So once again guys, I will see you very shortly with another video.